I'm going to be talking about a children's author. I adore stories. I love reading them, writing them and telling them. There are so many great female authors that I could choose to talk about and so many great stories. But which one to choose? Hmm. I love reading and listening to frightening stories like Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I like science fiction stories, stories that take you to strange, magical worlds, like Madeleine Lengel's A Wrinkle in Time. I like books where I learn about new people and new cultures. I can see art similarities and our differences. Like Hannah Lee's book, My Hair. I learned about braids and twists and, and dreads and about high top fades. Something I can't do with my hair. I'm drawn to books about brave and strong hearted characters. Characters that learn and grow. Like Abita Hal's Mohammed's The Proudest Blue. I like stories about extraordinary creatures like Cressida Cowles, How to Train Your Dragon. I like comedy and poetry and sometimes a hint of romance. Where do the ideas come from and how do you write a book? A best-selling book at that. I've never really thought about the author with the pen. Where do they get their ideas from? Why do they write these stories? Hmm, I think it's time to find out. The writer that I would like to talk about and somebody who I think is going to help me answer this question is Leslia Newman. Leslia is a Jewish woman who was born in Brooklyn, New York. She has written a lot of books, a lot of stories and has won over a hundred awards for her work. She writes about the extraordinary everyday. Issues that children can relate to or understand or at least empathise with. She has stories where characters embrace their diversity. She has stories about body image and we learn not to feel embarrassed or influenced about what others might say or do. She writes about families, about different families, how some families you can have two mums or two dads. She writes about what it feels like to be a child and move to a new country and learn a new language. I think these stories are so important and I think these stories are so empowering to those that read them. They have a special kind of wisdom to help us feel good and to help us accept who we are and accept each other and embrace our diversity. I think Leslie Newman is such an inspiring, influential writer and her stories are important in our literacy history. Let's find out why. A friend of Leslie realised that there were no books that represented her family so she asked Leslie, Listen, somebody needs to write a book about a family like ours. A family with two moms and a daughter. So, she did. She wrote a book called Heather Has Two Mummies. It's a book that teaches children about diversity and inclusion. Heather Has Two Mummies celebrates our parents. All of our family units are different. And Heather, she has two mums that love each other, and her. Each family is special. The most important thing about a family is that all the people in it love one another. Hmm. Heather Has Two Mummies was one of the first children's LGBTQ plus books written. But what does LGBTQ plus stand for? Well, 
Each letter, it stands for a community of people. LGBTQ plus stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer or questioning and others. It's a term used to identify the diversity of sexuality or gender identity. To learn more, check out the fantastic LGBTQ positive web series by Lindsay Amer, Queer Kids Stuff. Leslie received lots and lots of fan mail from lots of children thanking her for writing a story that they could finally relate to, even as young as six. This was what Tasha said. Thank you for writing Heather Has Two Mommies. I know that you wrote it just for me. And this little boy. I've crossed Heather's name out and wrote my name on every page. <laughs> Although there was a lot of love and appreciation for this book, there were still a lot of adults that wanted this book banned when it was first published in 1989, and some of them succeeded in a couple of American states and public libraries. Even in 1993, when the NYC Chancellor of Education was fired for supporting the inclusion of this book in the diversity curriculum. And in 2002, when a class of high school students wanted to read Heather Has Two Mummies, 500 parents complained and had the book removed from the school. Madness! However, the book still rose in popularity and became a cultural icon. And most importantly, it encouraged more children's LGBTQ plus books to be written and placed on the bookshelves. Yes! Well done, Leslie. If one of my books can ever convince even one person that LGBT people have the right to exist and enjoy the same basic civil rights as everyone else, including the right to feel safe in this world, I will feel that I have done my job. Leslie wrote more stories. Brothers and sisters, you might say, to keep Heather company on the bookshelf. Like Mummy, Mama and Me and Daddy, Papa and Me, beautifully illustrated picture books. Leslie continued writing important books for children and for adults. Books that were about body image, books about her experience being a Jew, and books about immigrating to a new country. Gittel's journey is a wonderful story that Leslie wrote about her grandmother's experience coming to America as a migrant. It's set in the 1900s in Russia at a time when there were strikes about hunger and bad working and living conditions. We follow this young girl called Gittel. She's immigrating to America. She's separated from her family and has to travel alone. We follow this brave girl across the ocean, surrounded by people that she doesn't understand the language, not yet, in search of a new life and a new place to call home. It's an enchanting story and a true story that you get lost in the pages. Leslie clearly has a passion for writing real stories that children can relate to. Books are wonderful things that can help connect us, to help us find ourselves and learn about each other. If you want to write, you should. Leslie loves, clearly loves writing, and she encourages everyone to have a go at it themselves. She tells us we should read, read everything we can get our hands on and write, write and keep writing. Okay. <laughs> I have met many women who think 
they can't be writers because their lives aren't interesting enough to write about. This is simply untrue. Everyone's life is mysterious, beautiful, stunning, magic. If you want to have a go at writing, then check out my next video where I'll be making a fun literacy game that will help you begin. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Leslie and Newman's work. There are so many female authors out there for you to discover. You can find them in my favourite places like libraries and bookshops. You can also find some samples of their work online. And check the bookshelves of your brothers and sisters and cousins just in case there's something you might like but always ask permission first <laughs> keep reading everyone start writing and we'll change the world one book at a time